One of the worst things I've seen neo pagans do, besides disrespecting the gods, is treating all father like a father figure. Just because he has the name father in his title. I want to be very clear. Um, based on every sources that we have, All Father is a very dark, very dangerous figure representing death and war itself, right? The savage primal part of war, the fury associated with it. In the uh, in the Eddas, it's stated that um, that his philosophy, basically, which uh, Thor criticizes, is that it's every man for himself, right? He doesn't care about repaying the favor that you that you've given him. He doesn't care about fairness. If he needs your soul, he will cause you to lose your battle in war. He's um. He's not what you would call um, a caring, warm wise, father figure. He is certainly wise. Um, he is certainly incredibly wise. He's not all-knowing, by the way. Uh, another misconception, just because he's a god doesn't mean he's all-knowing. Uh, this, um, this is a very Christian way of thinking. Uh, the gods are not omnipotent. And they're not... They're not... They're not omnipotent, they're not omnipresent, and there are limitations to their power. There are things that they cannot do, they cannot change the nature of the physical world. They still very much operate in the bounds of it and within it, at least um, their current manifestations. There are some theories that they... Um, the true gods operate much higher, and again, what we can experience from them is just a manifestation of them, or the, of their true nature. But this is beside the point. Um, the true All-Father is a being to be feared, a being to respect, a being to heed his warnings and take care of his knowledge, but never never disrespect him and never assume things. He is said to be cruel, he's said to be selfish, and he's said to lie. What you're thinking, if you want friends of men, or when by men I mean humans, friends of humans, that's Thor. Okay? I know that some of you may be thrown off by this because you've seen representations of Thor in Marvel movies and you're tired of it. Um, but that's just something that you'll have to live with. That uh, if you want to be part of this faith, then you have to throw away your, um, throw away your prejudices. Um, and yeah, that's it. See ya. Eat the warning.